with kudu it's never easy. You have to use the wind and kudu is well known for the most difficult animal to hunt, especially in the mountains. Center Arms, America's master gunmaker. Nothing moving today, way too hot, but it's a beautiful day for a stroll. Hi, I'm Jim Shockey, and welcome to the show. There's a country over in Africa called Namibia, and while it may not be as well known as South Africa in terms of hunting destinations, it's every bit as good, and it's definitely a place you should consider for your first African safari. In fact, here's a little bit of trivia for you. That's where I went for my first African safari. And I returned there a few years later with my father for his first African safari. I believe he was 76 years old, which all brings us around to today's show. Last summer, I returned to Namibia for a third hunt, this time with a new hunting buddy, a young lady that I couldn't be more proud of, a young lady who happens to be my daughter. Eva. Those are elephants, just like that. Just like that. The tusk goes up past uh, the, the eyeball. Okay, right here. Sorry. No, I'm gonna do say something. Oh, say something? Yeah. Um, it's an elephant really close to me. I'm quite scared. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like playing with elephants. Look at he's he charge at any second. My name is Yofi Lamprecht, owner and operator of Yofi Lamprecht Safaris. We operate out of Namibia specifically and offer hunting and photographic safaris throughout the country. We're going to be hunting Springbuck with Jim and Eva and uh, the Dummerland region is very, very well known for very large Springbuck and Springbuck with tips that hang way back, uh, a really unique characteristic of this gazelle, the only gazelle that occurs south of the Zambezi River. It's a beautiful sleek antelope that lives on big open plains and generally their shots on a springbok are relatively long. We're going to try to sneak and stalk as close as we can and get Jim and Eva good shots on springbok. Forty-seven yards. Springbok, Kalahari Springbok. This area in Damaraland is some of the biggest springbok in all of Namibia. So that one's not big enough. 
توی یاد It's time for SCI's Outfitter Chronicles. This week, we're going to talk about something that I find very interesting, and that's collecting tribal art and artifacts over in Africa. Outfitter Chronicles, brought to you by SCI, first for hunters. We all know that hunting isn't just about taking an animal. It's about discovery, about exploration, and it's also about shopping before and after the hunt. For some of us, it's called treasure hunting. Yeah, that is cool. I'm buying this fellow's knife. It's handmade, totally with the fringes. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. That's good. Thank you. So what is what is this thing? Thousand plus. Dancing. Oh, okay. You want me to yeah, wear it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe. That's it. And then you dance. Yeah, the dancing. This is like. Chicken feathers. Yeah, that's chicken. Addis Ababa, we're shopping. Louise and I, we just got in. Totally, totally jet lagged. 48 hours of flying and hanging around at airports. But now, the fun starts. These are real baskets. I, I just love these things. To me, that's beautiful. If it's not old, I don't like it. <laughs> and Is same as Louise. Very for nice. Her <laughs> you, you better backtrack. Thank you very much. Thank you. We got so much places to go. Okay, this was a good place, eh? If you can't get all the way over to Africa to pick up your tribal art or artifacts for your trophy room or house, there is one place in North America that you can do it, and that's at SCI's National Convention. Every year, dealers from around the world bring all kinds of cool ethnocentric art there. It's worth going just to see it. I know I go there every year and actually probably do more than just see it. I spend a few bucks. You may well do that too. Now, back to the show. <laughs> day two, we're here in the Conservancy. We have a long day ahead of us. I'm so excited. Tons of animals yesterday, didn't get a shot. I'm gonna get a big spring buck. This is a very special moment, and it's not often captured on camera. The Springbok's pride, it goes up when they're excited, and um, when they're displaying, when they're playing, when there's things like lightning, they'll pronk with Adam. You made just the most beautiful shot. He went down like a sack of potatoes. It was like 185 yards. Yeah. That was beautiful. You know what yeah. Beautiful shot, beautiful animal. Thank you. That's number of land. Thanks for Springbok. pointing on the right one. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't even notice that. <laughs> I'm so proud of my daughter. I told you she could shoot. Oh man. I didn't she's, really think she's like, she, that well, she didn't I even miss her up. We actually didn't have time to load up Eva's springbok before we spotted another group of springbok, including one that was definitely bigger than the one she got. So as anybody who's over 50 and watched Underdog knows, when springbok call, I am not slow. It's hip, 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 
Away I go. Which one's the big one? Which one is that one? That's him? Oh, he's gonna go to the right too. See which one it is, right? Facing right. Yep. Hang on. Coming up next, Crossman Small Game Snapshot. This segment brought to you by Benjamin, air guns for serious hunters. The Crossman Small Game Snapshot animal this week is a beautiful little animal called the Black Diker. The black diker is a tiny little antelope that lives in the deepest, darkest jungles of West Africa. There's only two ways, in fact, to go after them. One is at night with a spotlight. That's a male. It's a beautiful male. The second way is by trying to drive them in the jungles during the day. No matter how you hunt them, if you get a chance to hunt them, the shot you're going to have to take is going to be one of the most challenging of your hunting career. I would rate the Black Diker on the Crossman Small Game Snapshot hunting degree of difficulty as a 9.9 .9 out of 10. Are you kidding? First Black Diker we got it. We got it. In shock. <laughs> Holy, that was close. You can't believe that. how tough the shot was. See which one it is, right? Facing right. Yep. Yeah, hang on. Got him. Yeah, he's down. I was a little bit wobbly on the shot, eh? Like I was, I was bumping all over the. <laughs> I have my elbow rested. I can actually feel you shaking. Oh yeah. Oh, he's beautiful. Look how beautiful. Good one. <laughs> well, that was a quick hunt right there. <laughs> well, because what you did, you got the one, but the the satellite bull. And I got then the I got the dominant. Now. I got the I got the dominant one in the he area. He got his little brother. These two springbuck fell 160 yards apart. Five, five minutes apart. <laughs> yeah, we did it. We what a done. team. That's a perfect hunt, father daughter, here in the. And we're about to leave. To Maryland. This yeah, and, and we, this is last morning yeah. in Demaryland. <laughs> Both of us dropped ours nozzle time. Nozzle time. Yeah, we did. Double nozzle time. <laughs> yeah, One we of did. Us dropped it. Excuse me. Both of us dropped it. Poof. After spending three weeks here in Namibia, Jim has just left for Afghanistan to visit the US and Canadian troops to boost morale. Evie. Bye. Yeah. 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 I was supposed to, I was supposed to, but I couldn't do it. I gotta go to Afghanistan, visit the troops. Eva's going to be hunting planes game in central Namibia in one of my concessions and I'm predisposed, booked with other clients, so I, I'm bringing in a, a young Dian, a fantastic young professional hunter. Uh, who is going to be hunting with Eva and is also my big game apprentice. Finally got to the spa. I am so excited for this. Don't tell my dad I'm here. We're here at Koganas and it is absolutely beautiful. Outdoor safari massage. Yes, please, in Africa. Manicure and pedicure. Deluxe, high refining facial. This is not what I'm used to when I think I'm going on a hunting trip and I get to go to the spa instead. <laughs> I think my dad's gonna be unhappy about this. It's gonna spoil me too much. Hi, I'm Dian Jacobs. I was born and raised in Namibia. I've been professional hunting now for around about seven years. Good hunting in this specific areas, the, the thicket and then you find the mountain areas. 
early morning you'll find them going up in the mountains. It makes it extremely difficult. You can shoot them there, but recovery is a difficult thing. How big? Uh, he's 54, maybe bigger. Eva is shooting a Thompson's 270. That makes it a little bit more difficult getting closer. With Kudu, it's never easy. Kudu is well known for the most difficult animal to hunt, especially in the mountains. Smokes. Oh, he's a nice bull. Oh my gosh. He absolutely is humongous. I've never been up close to a kudu this big. Shooting a good sized bull is one thing. But shooting a bull of this size and the age he is really? something were, special. You were saying he would probably die from old age in what, two yeah, years? Yeah, yeah. That was perfect. Thank you so much. Big, big What pleasure. a fun hunt. Good Thank shooting you. again. Thank you. I wish my dad was here to see this. I wish also so. It would have been nice. He would be jealous, yeah. He would have been. <laughs> Somewhere between jealous and proud. You know, when you combine a world-class hunting destination like Namibia with a world-class outfitter like Joffe, and then throw in a hunting partner that's as much fun to hunt with as Eva, what you end up with is a safari full of memories that will last a lifetime. And I guarantee you won't regret a single penny that you spent to make those memories. Now, don't go away. We've got the Masio preview of next week's show coming right up. And we've got another thousand vertical feet on a hot day. Ready, Ali? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the Masio preview of next week's hunting adventure into the wild lands of Vancouver Island for giant black bear. Tyler and I are uh, going hunting. We got dad here too. A bear broke that tree off. That's the bear we're trying to hunt. Are you scared? That's a big bear. You'll never see a bigger bear in your life. <laughs> oh, perfect shoot. To book a hunt in any of Jim's hunting areas, call 888-826-1011. To sign up for Jim's free newsletter or to learn about hunt giveaways, go to jimshockey.com. Go to huntercourse.com to earn your hunter safety certificate.